How do you clean a flat top cooktop? That's one of those flat ones that looks like a table where it doesn't have burners popping up and there are no grills or grates on top of it. It's not a 3D stove, it's a flat cooktop. And sometimes when you cook, there will be gunks of stuff that's baked into the surface. How do you get that clean? We're gonna talk about that today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now today we're gonna do a product on the number one America's best selling product for cooktops and that is Ceramabrite. Now this comes in a little do-it-yourself kit for any homeowner or if you're a house cleaner, you can buy the kit and put it in your cleaning caddy. Now there's something you need to know about the product. We don't use it all the time. This is not an everyday product. This is a product for those really dirty times when the stovetop is just super icky and you need to give it a whole new life, okay? So this is the renovation kit. It retails for about nine or $10 and it's available everywhere. Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, lots of the grocery stores, it's available everywhere, okay? So it's called Ceramabrite and this is the do-it-yourself cooktop cleaning kit. It's for glass and ceramic cooktops. All right, we're gonna take a look at the inside and see what's inside and see what comes in this kit. I'm gonna take a step back here where I can use this table. Now, the very first item is the Ceramabrite itself. And a jar this size, this is a 10 ounce jar. This is gonna last you for years, okay? You don't need very much of it and it's gonna last you for years. So this is a good deal. It also comes with a little power grip tool and there will be a sponge in here and we're gonna wrap the sponge around this and it's gonna give us the best traction as we scrub the top of the stove. All right, there's a kit here. And there are three items in this little bag. One is a razor that is hooked to this little handle. So that's gonna give us good traction as well as we scratch any of the gunk off the, off the stove top. All right, the next item is a little scrubby sponge that connects to the power tool. So together we're gonna to use these to scrub the gunk off the top of the stove. And then last but not least are the instructions. So if you forget what we're talking about right now, the instructions come with the kit. So read the instructions. All right, there are three more tools that I'm gonna add as my work smart, not hard tools so that we can get the best job done. Two of them are cotton terry cloths. These are cloths that we're gonna use after we've already done the cleaning and there's gunk still left on the top of the stove. We're gonna wipe it off with one of the towels then the other towel we're gonna to use to buff everything down and we're gonna use those towels while they're dry. All right, the next thing we're gonna use are my OXO Good Grips Deep Cleaning Brushes that we talked about in another video. And I'm only gonna use the small one for this project. The small one has the triangular bristles. And so as I go around the outsides of the oven top, and as I go around the little buttons on the stove and the knobs, that's what I'm gonna use for this. Then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna use the spatula end and I'm gonna get inside the corners and the crevices that are very hard to get to that I'm not gonna be able to buff out with my rag. Now these two are sold separately. This is not part of the cleaning kit and I will leave links in the show notes to all of this below. But I, these I gotta use for everything. I use these little brushes for everything. So we're gonna use them today. All right, and then the last thing are my gloves. These are nitrile gloves and if you're a professional house cleaner, you're gonna be wearing these anyway. If you're a homeowner, I recommend that you do special projects with gloves like these. There, there's nothing harmful in any of this stuff that's gonna bug up your hands, <laughs> but just to use the gloves, it protects your hands and your skin. And that way there are never any questions, did you get some on your hands? All right, those are my work smart, not hard tools. Now I wanna spend just a minute and tell you about the company that created Ceramabrite. Then we're gonna go down to the stove and I'm gonna show you how it works. All right, I wanna do a quick safety data sheet breakdown just so you know the company behind it and a little bit about what to expect. All right, the Ceramabrite is from a company called Golden Ventures, Inc. It was a company founded back in 1992 and they're based out of Indianapolis, Indiana. They create products for your fridge, your stove, your dishwasher, your garbage disposal. They've got products for stainless steel and granite and leather. So they do a lot of household products. All right, now by law, they are required as manufacturers to create a list of all the different hazards and known things that you need to be aware of. So we're gonna take a quick look at the things that you need to know to be safe 
when using the Ceramabrite cooktop cleaner. All right, the hazards identification. It is an eye irritant, but we're not even gonna get it close to our eyes and you should be fine. All right, the composition and ingredients. It's made of a secret, trade secret concoction of feldspar, quartz, glycol ether DB, and citric acid. We don't know how much of what because it's a trade secret, but that's what's in it. The first aid measures. If you get it in your eyes, you're gonna rinse your eyes with water. If you get it on your hands, you're gonna wash your hands with soap and water. And if you breathe it and it bothers you for whatever reason, it's not supposed to, but if it does, go to fresh air. All right, then fire safety. If you use the product as directed, there will be no fires. So you should be safe. If it spills, how do you clean it up? You clean it up with a damp cloth, a sponge, or a paper towel. Booyah, that's easy enough, right? All right, and as far as the handling and storage, it says keep in a container that's labeled properly, and they've already labeled it properly for us, so this we're good to go. All right, exposure controls, it says wear protective gloves, and we've already talked about that, so when we use it, we're gonna wear protective gloves. They don't even think you need to wear an eye mask or a face mask or any of those things, so you should be all right. Okay, and the product itself, it's a white liquid and it smells like lemon or citrus. And it's a stable product and it doesn't react to anything that we know of. Now the toxicological information. The product does not present an acute toxicity hazard. So there are long, no long-term effects or any problems that you're gonna have as a result of this. The ecological information is that the product is, yes, in fact, biodegradable. The disposal considerations, when you're done using this, you wanna just go ahead and toss it in your regular household trash. And then the transportation information, it's not regulated by the Department of Transportation. So if you order this off of Amazon, they can ship it via air, land, sea, or ground, whatever your shipping preference is, yay. And you can also put it inside your cleaning caddy and take it wherever you go. So it's a great go-to product if you have lots of customers that have flat top cooktops. All right, and the regulatory information, the chemicals in Ceramabrite are listed in accordance with the state, U.S. state regulations, and in any states where there are controlled products. So other than that, Ceramabrite is a great product that has met all of the rules and regulations and requirements for its advertising and what have you. And now we're going to go take a look and see how it works. Now, for those of you that are in your cars and you're listening to the podcast, you cannot see the surface that we're working on today. The stovetop is gunky, but it's not super gunky. I've seen worse. So the majority of what we're gonna be working on today is the bottom left-hand burner of the stove. And we're only gonna be using as much Ceramabrite as we need. We're not gonna cake it on over the whole stove because that's just overkill. There are just a few areas and the bottom left-hand burner is gonna be our main focus for today. So we're putting on our gloves. We're gonna put on just a very small amount of Ceramabrite. And then we're going to take our sponge and connect that to our power tool which will give us a good grip as we scrub this surface top of the stove. Now we're gonna go in a circular motion and unlike other speed cleaning techniques where we don't go back over the area we've already gone over, it's okay to do that with the Ceramabrite and the power scrub tool. We're gonna to go over the entire stove just using a little dab here and there of Ceramabrite as we need it. And then we're gonna scrub the areas that have gunk on them. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna buff it off with our dry towel. Now the secret here is to just spread this stuff evenly across the stove and we're gonna let it dwell for just a minute before we use our razor blade. And the key to using the razor blade is we want to always use the razor blade after we've put the cleaning solution on the stove. It, as is true with all using razor blades in cleaning, we don't wanna use a dry razor blade on anything because that will scratch glass and ceramic countertops and things like that. So we wanna put the cleaning solution down first, and then we wanna go ahead and clean that up with the razor blade. And once you've used a razor blade, you never wanna reuse it again on a cooktop because if it gets nicked and dinged, that can scratch the top of your countertop. Also, a secret with using the razor blade is never use the corners to dig off something very difficult because if you use the corners, that can leave a permanent scratch on your surface top of your stove, and you don't want that to happen. All right, one note while we're on cooktops, stainless steel and aluminum heavyweight pans are recommended, but you never ever wanna slide them across the top of your cooktop because it can scratch your cooktop. And you wanna stay away from copper bottom pans and you never ever wanna let a copper bottom pan boil dry because the metal can bond to the glass cooktop. 
And then you want to stay away from cast iron pots and pans because those can also scratch with the exception of if they have a porcelain bottom. They must be completely covered in porcelain if you're going to use them on a flat top surface. And then just stay away from altogether glass and stone cookware because that will scratch your ceramic or your glass cooktop. So those are just a few recommendations for the top of your, your surface just to keep it protected and nice and looking new. Alrighty, now we're using our OXO Good Grips Deep Clean brush and we're just going around the outside edge of the stove to get in all the little nooks and crannies where it's going to be hard to get with our towel. Now we're taking a dry cotton terry towel and we're just going to go in a circular motion and we're going to buff out everything that we've just done. And you'll notice as we go, it's polishing everything up almost as if it's brand new. So we're just going to go over this a couple of times and make sure that there's no Ceramabrite residue left. And then when we're done, our stovetop will look as good as new. All right, so now as we're looking at the final product, this looks magnificent. We got all of the gunk, all of the traces from that bottom left-hand burner. This stove looks brand new. And if you're standing behind your service with a customer satisfaction guarantee, the Ceramabrite did a fantastic job. All righty, now we've had a chance to take a look at Ceramabrite and to see a little bit about what it is, what it can do. We've learned about it. We've learned about the company behind it. We gave it a try. We saw it in action. And does it meet truth in advertising? The answer is yes, it does. And I'm going to give Ceramabrite the Savvy Cleaner seal of approval. Now, having said that, I want to know, do you use Ceramabrite? And do you love it as much as I do? And if you don't use it, what do you use instead? Because now I'm curious. So leave your comments in the notes below. The next time you see a flat top cooktop that has all that gunk on the top of it, you're going to think of this video and you're going to think of Ceramabrite. That's the time you want to share the video. Alrighty, until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.